Mr. Martin, we have the highest young talented engineering manpower in the world is available in India. Every German machine, every car, everything is perfect, 101% perfect. That is the most important thing which I love and I like it. I am really from BS4, go for BS6. It will be really a difficult task. It is not going to happen. I said, no problem. Aayenge to mere saath, nahi aayenge to tumhare bina, aur nahi aayenge to tumko gasitte will leke jaunga, aur yeh hoga hi. This uh, Mercedes Benz first electric sedan car, EQS 580, which is locally manufactured in India. That is also a pride for all of us. And I am giving my special thanks to all young talented engineers the skilled manpower from our country for making this car. So we are the largest manufacturer, number one in the, in the, in the, in the world for two wheelers and three wheelers. My suggestion is as early as possible, please consider this viewpoint. Because our government is not going to encourage petrol and diesel vehicle. Because of the pollution and because of the rates, because of the import cost, we have 16 lakh crores we are spending on import of fossil fuel and creating pollution in the country. This uh, Mercedes-Benz first electric sedan car, EQS 580, which is locally manufactured in India. That is also a pride for all of us. And I am giving my special thanks to all young talented engineers, the skilled manpower from our country for making this car. Mr. Martin, we have the highest young talented engineering manpower in the world is available in India. And these Pimpal are very competitive, very, very competent and intelligent. And 100% they will contribute to your industry by large as research and development also. Because in a lot of people are doing excellent research. I always tell it to the people two important philosophies. One is innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research, skills and successful practices. We name it as knowledge and conversion of knowledge into wealth in the future. And one thing which I always appreciate from Germany, total world business, the 3% export is from Germany. I got appointed to visit Germany. They are very, very competent people as far as the technology is concerned. And what is the best thing which we should learn from them is this 101% perfection. No compromise with the quality. Every German machine, every car, everything is perfect, 101% perfect. That is the most important thing which I love and I like it. I am really <laughs> appeal to my Indian people that we need to understand what exactly this implementation which is very important for our country. I had got opportunity to launch the first BS6 model of Mercedes-Benz in India. At that time, total automobile industry was making opposition to me that this will not possible. Many times I received many delegations. And every time the big giants from the automobile industry was telling me, Sir, from BS4, go for BS6. It will be really a difficult task. It is not going to happen. I said, no problem. Aayenge to mere saath. Nahi aayenge to tumhare bina. This uh, Mercedes Benz ne apni pehli car ho BS6 ko launch kiya tha aur aaj ye jo car hai isme bhi 15 minutes fast charging and 300 km and driving range is up to 582 to 679 km it is also a great thing and i feel that this is very useful for the common people also. The only request, two requests to you. One is you increase the number as production. Then it is possible for you to reduce the cost. <laughs> people like, we are middle class people. Even I can't afford to purchase your car. <laughs> so, if your number will be increased, your cost will be reduced. And the other important thing is now the Indian automobile industry is in the process of development. Presently the size of industry is 7.8 lakh crore, out of which 3.5 lakh crore is export. And growth rate of the industry is 
and this is the industry which created employment for 4 crore across all economic groups and this is the industry which is giving maximum revenue to the state government and central government as a form of GST. So we are the largest manufacturer, number one in the, in the, in the, in the world for two wheelers and three wheelers. The 50% production of Bajaj, TVS and Hero already that is export. And today we have 400 startup, the young talented engineers making e-scooters. Now they are going to make three wheeler also and so beautifully designed. So I feel that this is one of the important industry for the country. We are the seventh largest manufacturer of commercial vehicle and as a minister I have a dream and mission to make this industry of 15 lakh crore. 15 lakh crore is very important because I am making a lot of express highway to create more demand for you. We are making express highway from Pune to Bangalore. Within four hours we will reach to Bangalore here from Pune. So Pune to Ahmadnagar two hours. So 100% people are going to be preferring this uh, type of car segment and it is also very useful for them. Overall sales of EVs is rise 335%. So in future for this car, you will get good market. Electric two wheelers 660% rise. Electric three wheelers 150%. Electric four wheelers 300%. And electric buses 1600%. Presently in the country we have 1,50,000 buses. Just 20 days before I launched double decker electric bus in Mumbai. And my prediction is within five years, at least because of electric, the cost is less. For one diesel bus in Mumbai, based is giving 115 rupees per kilometer as a cost for diesel bus. And we receive the tender for non-AC bus, 39 rupees per kilometer. And AC bus, 41 rupees per kilometer. So my suggestion is also because now this is the plant only for the car. But there is Mercedes, Bharat Benz and already they are doing. There is a huge potential for electric buses. That is the future and government is making special policy for that because we need to encourage public transport in the country. The semiconductor is also one of the problem. Just uh, two months before we have a meeting with the chairman of Intel with the IT minister and I was telling him about our automobile sector. Government is giving special PLI scheme where we are going to encourage semiconductors. I feel that in due course of time that can be possible and even in the scrapping unit the rare earth metal such as neodymium is also you will get it from NDAP magnet in electric vehicles which you are using. So this is, can be also good thing. Once two only request to you my dream is to in place of petrol we want to use 100% bioethanol. And this Pune, Western Maharashtra, they have a lot of sugar factories, they are making ethanol. And just three months before, we received one technology from Russia, where the average of petrol and average of ethanol was same. So I given this proposal to Indian Oil and uh, Ram Kumar from Faridabad Laboratory, they make all the laboratory tests and now certify. So the cost of the petrol is 120 rupees per kilometer and the cost of ethanol is 60 rupees per kilometer. So petrol creating more pollution, ethanol is green fuel, it is from the farmer, from the agriculture. And we want to diversify agriculture towards energy and power sector. Now the Bajaj, Hero, then TVS, they have got flex engine, motorcycle and scooters. Now I have just, uh, actually two days before it was decided to launch a Camry from Toyota on flex engine. But because of cabinet meeting in the next month, we are going to launch that. That is on 100% bioethanol and creating 40% energy, electricity. So my suggestion is, as early as possible, please consider this viewpoint. Because our government is not going to encourage petrol and diesel vehicle. Because of the pollution and because of the rates, because of the import cost, we have 16 lakh crores we are spending on import of fossil fuel and creating pollution in the country. So that is one of the reasons is, I will request you can go for the flex engine it can be really a good thing, good thing. We are uh, also in making of e-highway. 
Now the Siemens has given me, already given me the presentation. We want to make e-highway and the trolley bus. My department is now in the process of sanctioning 260 proposals for ropeway, cable car, funicular rail, and even for Bangalore and Pune also we think on the line that the sky bus in the sky having the capacity of 200 people because we cannot increase the width of the rope. So these are the new technology we are already working on that. And I feel that with the electric and with the flex engine, 100% you will get good market in India. So my request is to please consider this because this is very important not only economic point of view but ecology and environment point of view also. Today I am really happy that this electric car from Mercedes it is going to be 100% you will get good response from the people. The green hydrogen is also the fuel for the future. You are the expert people who know the futuristic technology. We are very much insisting upon green hydrogen. I am sure in due course of time the day will come that our import will be reduced. I don't want to make any comments but the day will come that India will be green. And now in our power basket 36 to 40 percent power is solar power. And now the mission is, our Prime Minister dream is that make it 60 percent of solar power. And that is one of the reason that we are marching towards green and that is the important thing that we need to start and we need to have the vehicle on electrics.